One bit of good news, I'm looking at this transit app and apparently there's plenty of buses going to 10th and Troost. So when it gets close to, what do you call it, two o'clock, I can just go ahead and catch my bus and get my homeless lunch. I don't have any food in the meantime, but I'm still working off that weight from the mental hospital. Well, it's not coming off as much as you'd think walking around on all these goddamn hills. It's all that rich hobo cuisine. Also, whenever we have grits, I put a lot of butter on them. What are grits? You know, if you're not an American viewer or in the American Midwest, you're like, what the fuck are grits? Well, good thing I have the time to tell you. The best way to describe it would be uh, oatmeal with a vaguely corn-like flavor. Now, what grits are is, um, okay, go get yourself a can of corn, open the can of corn, pull out a kernel of corn, and you'll notice that there is the large part of the corn, which is made of starch in, in a little casing of cellulose. And then there's just this little tiny piece, and that's the germ. That's the baby corn. The starch is there to feed the baby corn when it grows. So some industrial process punches out that tiny piece of each kernel of corn, and then you get about a million of those, you got some grits. Boil that in water, throw some butter on it, you have some vaguely corny oatmeal. Of course, it's not oat, but it's a damn fine meal. One of the great things about living in the greatest, or the richest nation on earth debatable, is that people throw away some pretty good shit, and the shit that gets thrown away gets donated to homeless shelters. So some place, some fancy place that has catering has donated some stuff, and so the homeless breakfast, it was, oh, I don't know, about six days ago, French toast, scrambled eggs, and the eggs had clearly been scrambled in the pan that was used to cook the bacon, and bacon. It was nice. Only two French, you know, two slices of French toast apiece. The salad the other day came with red pepper. So, you know, about half salad, half red pepper. That was delicious. Man, I was burping spicy. This morning there was a bunch of syrup on the condiment table and I started getting all excited. But then there was oatmeal, a bagel, four strips of bacon, and nothing really to put on the bagel except for butter, but how do you melt butter on a cold bagel? Beggars can't be choosers, though. Everyone knows the beggars choosers non-congruence theorem. Oh, the bacon was nice because it's at least a little bit of protein. I've learned something about oatmeal since becoming homeless, and that is that it can be served in piles. I always thought of oatmeal as some sort of thing that you would serve in a bowl and in, in a semi-liquid state. But all the oatmeal I've ever been served in the homeless shelter has been like an ultra-dry pile. And I'm like, hmm, the nutrition to carb ratio, I'm still kind of fat. And eh, no thank you. The grits, at least, has some nutrition to it. The piles of oatmeal, not so much. You know, one of the things that bothers me is that since coming to the City Union Mission shelter, I haven't shit properly. It's just, it's, it's too loose of a stool, makes it hard to keep the ass clean. Too much information, it's just information. You don't have to look at it. You don't have to smell it, but I do. It's one of the things that does make me eager to uh, not have these types of physical concerns. You know, get working on that next iteration of the multiverse. It's fine, though. It's fine. By the way, now that I think about it, since, like, about 5% of everything I eat is black pepper that I pour all over it, that might not be helping my shitting situation. What am I, a fucking gastroenterologist? No. I'm God Almighty himself. I may have mentioned that a few times.